What's up everybody? Mark here from Pine Tech. Today I'm going over my compact holster for the Ruger LC9 with the TR9 Arma Laser attached. I've been getting more and more requests for holsters for Arma Lasers. Uh, they are very nice lasers. They are priced greatly and they're very simple to function. They just simply, just by grabbing the firearm, uh, your little electromagnetic whatever hits this little sensor there and the laser comes on. So easy use. Uh, it's, it's something you don't even have to think about. You draw, draw your firearm, boom, you got a laser coming on. So this one's going to be for the Ruger LC9 or the LC380 with the TR9 attached. Um, and when I, with the arm lasers, uh, I don't use any molds. I'm actually, so when I'm making my holsters, I'm actually, you know, mocking this up with the wood blocks and fillers and the mounts that I put on it. Um, so I'm going through the process of taping it up and actually making a holster off the actual firearm. All my arm laser holsters are made that way. It gives you a superior holster fit and finish. So let's take a look here. We'll do a little close up. This is my compact holster. Now I'm going to be able to make all my holsters with this setup. So if you want uh, a bailout or if you want a tuck or if you want an X80, any of my holsters, I'm still going to be able to make with the TR9 or any arm laser attachment. So on to the holster. As you can see here, black Kydex. Uh, my compact is an inside the waistband concealed carry holster. Idea is simple design. Um, finish off with just kind of expert craftsmanship. That's how I would like to think my holsters are made. Uh, I make every single one of them. I am the sole owner, sole maker. So if you're getting a holster, I'm making it. All right, so let's let's take a quick look here. And I'll give you a little close up. I like to keep my videos nice, sweet, and short. Gets the point. All right, so again simple holster so down here you design you're keeping a nice close fit to that trigger guard give you plenty of clearance for your fingers um, with the holster with the arm laser coming straight down you got a little pop out here throw in a couple retention screws um, i don't use any finishing washers like i typically do on anything with a lighter laser and that is just to simply keep this design as, as small as possible you know that this little finish wash that you see up here isn't going to fit down here unless i extend it out another whatever eighth of an inch I, I don't know but that's an eighth of an inch less of a holster that you have so other than that you got a sight channel which is tall enough to accept any aftermarket sights this has a full sweat shield most popular sweat shield that i make and you see i just go up the back of the gun I try keeping the holster designed to the gun as you can see all my edges are shiny uh, they're hand sanded finished polished buffed all that fun stuff we'll just give you a quick little quick little close-up of the holster this one is for a straight draw as you can see it's vertical straight up and down really good for appendix carry uh, with the size of this firearm, it's going to work behind the hip as well. If you're curious what the most common cant and sweat shield options are, the most common is going to be 10 degree cant, just a tiny, tiny little little movement forward, which is still easy to carry appendix, but also makes great for around back behind the hip. And full sweat shield is by far the, the most common. Um, I actually found personally that if it's a half, uh, I get pinching when I start wearing halves and when I get fulls, it's not an issue. One and a half inch mold ejected clip. It gives plenty of back pressure. So it really is a nice aggressive snap onto your belt. Some more washers back here. Give that a little flexibility. And you got some adjustment screws down here so you can adjust the draw. So, and speaking of draw, let's draw this a couple times. So. Nice pop, nice easy smooth draw, nice little pop. Again, you can adjust that down here. You can make that real nice and tight. You can make it slide right down in. As you see now, it slides pretty good. Just a little nice little snap at the end. All right, guys, 
That is my compact holster. Check out more on my website, www.pinetech.com. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend. Do whatever. Thank you.